Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and it is yet another Wacky Wednesday. And for proof, you just have to watch our football video. <laughs> Musicians, athletes, they stay on different sides of the fence, I guess. At least here at Norman's Rare Guitars, you gotta watch us try to throw these footballs around. And, and the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Let alone every store in the shopping centers looking at us like, do you really have to do this right now? And Norm's like, oh yeah, it was awesome. I don't know. Party Norm's animal. always yeah, he's always up for the party or the challenge. Yeah, you place a bet, better watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. So basically, it started. I don't know how it started. He just bet that he could throw it farther. Sent Joel out, our repairman, to go get to a go phone. buy a football. <laughs> And that's that video. So. Enjoy. Enjoy. Very sorry. Um, go Eagles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, other than that, too, we have a really cool guitar today. I was originally going to do a Jazz Master, true story, 1963, but it sold. I had it out, and then somebody saw it and bought it. So. It's gone. But we got something really, really cool. So, check it out. So, first. This is a special limited edition guitar. It comes with this this uh, wrap around over the case. Um, just wanted to show you that first. Um, something kind of different. So this goes around this hard shell case. This That's cool. It's all original. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, nice coating, nice black and green. Some of my favorite colors. All right, so let's see what's in inside. It's a 1997 custom Gibson L5. But it's a special West Montgomery model um, from the NAMM show, and only 25 were made. Uh, yeah, can't say enough about this one. So this one came in, um, actually, this guitar came and was owned by Jimmy Stewart. Now, Jimmy Stewart is no longer with us, but um, still a very, really cool guitar, and he was a great player himself. He wrote one of the main music books um, based on West Montgomery and really understood his playing a lot and um <clears throat> and he received this guitar um so it's a reissue of west montgomery's original l5 with the engraved um heart-shaped mother of pearl inlay so i believe the story was that he wore it down so much at first and there was kind of a hole there and they patched it with a heart um so that's kind of what west's look like now we've had two other versions of west montgomery reissues but none of them have had the heart on it so i knew immediately it was something a little different um, like I said, owned by Jimmy Stewart. And uh, so the story was Wes's original L5 was lost for about 30 years after being in a fire. And um, I forget where it was, but one of the guys had it. And he asked Jimmy Stewart, do you know what this guitar is? And he said, that's Wes's guitar. And so as a favor um, for helping identify it, they gave him one of these. Um, so it was later presented at NAMM um, in, like I said, 97, and it was restored with, uh, the real one was restored with it and presented with 25 others. This is one of the 25. Um, it has a 1957 classic humbucker, one pickup, and one volume, one tone knob. Uh, you got the gold hardware, really cool. Um, white and black binding all the way around. Uh, uh, ebony f <laughs> ebony <laughs> fingerboard mother of pearl inlays um vintage sunburst it's a little different it's kind of yeah it's got that vintage thing it's not as bright and bold which i kind of like um and then uh what else we got solid spruce carved top and then you have a five piece rock maple neck well that's cool pretty cool but really clean the back though look at that yeah look at that well, Wes Montgomery is one of my favorite guitar players of all time, and uh, Jimmy Stewart was no slack either. So, two great guitar players um, that um, have some kind of involvement with this guitar. And uh, I love the L5. Um, I have one too, and uh, yeah, it's like it's like the guitar version of a piano to me. Uh, you can hear every note and. Uh, it's just it's just one of the best guitars to play by yourself. So we're going to take it out front, see what we can do, and this is a unique piece. Um, I think if you're a West Montgomery fan, um, or just a fan of jazz, or just like Arch Tops in general, this is a great guitar. So let's go uh, check it out. Let's go. Cool. 
All right, we're out front with the 1997 custom Gibson L5. Hey, hey, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You know, it's getting kind of ridiculous around here now. This Mountain A Idol, we've got girls coming in and throwing <laughs> like rose petals at Michael over here. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if it's because he's playing this beautiful L5 with a heart on it right over here. Ooh. Uh, uh, he, he likes it, but it's not that much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but, but, but Michael, you could tell him the story about this, but we just can't have all you girls coming in chasing Michael. I mean, we love Michael, but you know, we got to put a stop to this. This is getting out of hand. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Very nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Ladies, welcome. Here we go. We have one pickup. Should I just keep going? Yeah. <laughs> just keep going. Oh yeah. All right, here's another piece. I'm starting to remember all these pieces that I made up when I was at Berkeley. Uh, this is another one I remember calling my dad because I was listening to Earl Clue. Um, check it out.
1997 Gibson L5 West Montgomery one of my favorite guitar players of all time um, can't say enough about him and what he's done for the instrument and uh, his music keeps me calm I love it <laughs> oh and the ladies <laughs> thank you Norm for bringing them by <laughs> check out all these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook I'm your host Michael Lemo we'll see you guys tomorrow for edibles at night thumping Thursday bye